Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more cleaning motivation and lifestyle videos. Today I'm going to be spring cleaning my kitchen. This is only part one of a part two series. So I hope you guys enjoy. This is what we're looking like before. It's just a lot of things that's out of place and every surface area needed to be deep cleaned. Now I'm going to be moving the table to vacuum the center of the rug. A lot of crumbs and stuff collect in there and I don't move it as often as I should. But since we're deep cleaning today, it is getting done. Before moving on to the main part of the kitchen, I am going to be wiping down all surface areas so I'm going to be dusting these two shelves along with the fireplace mantle.
Now I'm gonna be moving on to the kitchen island. I just had some food that needed to be put up along with a lot of stuff that doesn't belong. Um, a lot of craft stuff was still on the island. The dishwasher was full, so I went ahead and started that. I think I ran that dishwasher like three times in one day, which is not normal. But since we were deep cleaning, I guess um, it kind of makes sense. But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead, start the dishwasher, then the sink is gonna be piled up again with dishes. And then I'm gonna be removing everything off the counters and wiping it down.
moving on to our stove i like to wipe this down a nightly but somehow it always gets food on it the next day so i'm just going to wipe this down and then i will be cleaning the actual iron cast grates in another video because i have some tips and tricks for you so stay on the lookout for that Taking the same rag that I wiped down the counters, I am just going to wipe down all of these stainless steel appliances. I'm not going to do it in this video, but I am going to wipe it with the stainless steel wipes. But I kind of wanted to wait until the whole entire kitchen was finished. So you will see that in part two. I'm so glad that I found this cleaning hack because these chairs are constantly dirty. My kids eat here, eat breakfast every morning and they use it as a napkin. I don't know what well, is mo mostly the boys. Uh, my seven year old daughter doesn't do it, but nonetheless, it still gets dirty and this is so easy to clean. If you want to know what I'm doing, if you can't figure it out by watching it, I do have a video that I will link above. Now taking a rag with warm soapy water with a little bit of bleach in it, I am going to be wiping down these cabinets. The top ones weren't that bad, but the bottom ones just had all kinds of spills and mystery items on it but this mixture actually took care of it very easy and i didn't have to do a lot of scrubbing
next I am going to sweep the floor I am nowhere near done in this kitchen but because I have a two-year-old and a dog I need to get up all the pieces that came off the counter all the food or they would have a field day so I am going to be sweeping now and I'm going to be sweeping again later but I need to get up majority of this food before they get to it What you're seeing now is our pantry door. This door is filthy. You cannot tell looking at the video, you can't tell that much, but it was covered in dust, food particles, drink particles, everything, sticky fingerprints. And I've been meaning to get to this door for a while now, but never got the chance. And I'm just using the same soapy bleach water that I use for the cabinets. So this is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and once again be out on the lookout for part two of my spring cleaning kitchen edition. <laughs>